here we go. Okay. Bring them on. Finn, uh, Finn Wolfhard, everybody. Yes. Yes. What's up, man? How are you, pal? I'm so good. Good to see you. It's been a while. It's been a bit. How's I know. I, I, I saw it. Yeah, it was like, oh, everything's good. Yeah. If, what was the last time we saw each other? It was Las Vegas, right? I think it was briefly in Las super Vegas. Super brief. Like, I was like, okay, bye. And it was just like super brief. You've yeah. Been busy, though. How how's the quarantine hair going? You you haven't cut it. It's yourself good. Yet? It's like it's very like long and like. Are you what? Are you, yeah, you gotta you gotta grow it out too, dude. I know this is insane. It's coming it's, down. Look at that! Look at that volume! Look, I got. Oh, I got yeah. Out. Are you where? Are you back? Are you in Toronto? Yeah, we're, I'm in Toronto. Yeah, you're in Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. So what's Canadian the, boys. What's the situation out there, man? I know Toronto's, uh, the park benches have just been reopened. We can now sit in public again. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's stuff starting to open up, right, Dan? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's starting to get better for sure. This so weekend, six people can hang out. Six people can hang out now together. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, Toronto. Yeah. There we go. Oh, Kerr Dog. Yeah, Curran. Who, uh, if you guys watch uh, Titans, uh, yeah, that's Curran. It's Robin on Titans right there. Oh, sick. That's pretty cool, man. What have you been doing? What have you been watching, buddy? You've been watching a lot of stuff. You've been binging. I just, yeah, I just started. Um, I just started watching Succession yesterday. Thoughts? Have you seen that? Have you seen that, uh, that no, show? I've heard, yeah. I've heard it's good. Yeah, it's it's on HBO. It's really, it's it's very, it's pretty sickening actually, but it's great in the best way possible. It's just yeah. about this like super rich mogul family and how they just love to tear each other down. Um, but it's also like really, it's, I don't know, it's funny. It's really funny too. So yeah, I started watching that and then like, um, yeah, I don't know. I've been watching like a lot of old movies too. And like, nice. I got the Criterion channel. So it's just been oh. like, yeah, Taking yeah. The old stuff. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been good. Were you, is this, was this supposed to be your graduation year? Yeah. So what's the deal? What's happening, man? I guess it's like, I guess they're pushing it uh, a year, something like that. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, everyone, everyone's going to end up, what's, you know, like going to, yeah. you know, university and stuff like, you know, my classmates are going to university. So I wonder how that'll go. But yeah, it's good. It's going to be like, like um, Billy Madison. You're going to have to go back to go back and finish. Ex high school oh my God. <laughs> that, that would be... A dream of mine, actually, is to be really? the next. No, no, not at all. But no, I would, I would, I, you some stuff? I, no, I'm so happy to be out of school. But uh, no, it'd be great to, uh, yeah, it'd be great to be, to be Adam Sandler. But uh, yeah, do you see Anka Gems? I have. I was it's pretty. pretty it's I an insane it. movie. I wanted a Furby medallion after that. Uh, I know movie. they, they just, they, I guess A24 was just auctioning off props oh. and i think i think they auctioned the furby for like thirty thousand dollars or something like that oh damn yeah oh, oh. so jealous i what were you I so were you working on stuff when this all went down like i guess go, is ghostbusters yeah. finished ghostbusters yeah is ghostbusters done? is done okay it was supposed to come out i haven't seen it yet but it was supposed to come out july yeah okay um but uh you get, it's getting pushed so yeah it's getting pushed to next march um, but I'm excited to see that. I got, but yeah, so that was done. And then we were in the middle of Stranger Things 4. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then that got put on hold, like a bunch of stuff. So, um, but we were like getting pretty good into it. We've got some like really good stuff so far. So I'm, I'm happy yeah. that like we actually like, like, uh, like ended up getting stuff instead of like, cause some shows just started and just didn't, didn't film. But can you um, can you say anything about four? I heard people talking online that we might not even be in Hawkins anymore. We might be somewhere else. Can we even? Say yeah, anything? there's like there's yeah there's a new there's a new location. Um, Hopper is in Hopper's in a new location. Um, yeah. yeah, there's like they put out a trailer that's really really sick. Um, and it's like snowing and he's like you know doing hard labor. Um, so that's I'm excited you know to see what happens with that but yeah i don't know four four should be four is really incredible i'm like very very proud of it so far i mean i you know we haven't even really dug deep into it at all but and it's so crazy that you in stranger things like literally cosplayed as a ghostbuster and then... yeah well that was the reason why i i thought that i wasn't going to get the part because of that 
Oh, um, really? Were the, par the part in Ghostbusters because of that. Because I was like, well, they're going to see my tape, and they're going to be like, oh, he already did it. Like, he already – whatever. I got to – he already did it or yeah. whatever. And the, uh, But then – yeah, I guess they like my tape enough to, because I guess it's such, it's a very kind of different character than the character I play in Stranger Things, so, um, but, uh, I mean, because I just play more of, like, a big brother in, in Ghostbusters, so, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, it was, it was pretty uh, awesome. I'm sure Stranger Things helped, uh, a fair bit, but, uh, definitely gave me a, a leg up, but, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for it in the trailer it's just so awesome um, well i i don't like it's, it's a strange thing you, know, you dress up with something you you become it so i this this may take the interview in a different direction but i've never showed you this before uh 20 2016 halloween okay this is me this is me and my wife kelsey oh yeah dude i feel like didn't you show me that look at that man wow that is so sick I made that phone myself out of a that's cardboard and a an old piece of a r clock radio. Yeah, I was like, "What? Yeah, where did you get that from?" And the, and I I made bike handlebars. There was no full bike; it was just the <laughs> handlebars. Then I went. So you just to carry around. handlebars around? <laughs> yeah. So were you in a wig? That means I'll be on season five of Stranger Things. Yeah, now. that yeah that, that probably means. it probably is what it means. I feel like yeah man yeah you manifest it and then it becomes true. That's, I think that's exactly it. But I have two questions about Ghostbusters, first of all. Yeah. Number one, do you ride a bicycle in any way? Because I feel like you've made a career riding bikes. No, no, but there is a car in it. Okay. I do. I drive a car in it. Okay, you drive a car. And, and two. Which is different. It's a step up. It's a step up. It is a step up. Because I think I yeah. saw you on the set of It the first day I was there on, on the set. You, it was the scene where like you guys are biking into and running up the stairs of the house. And yeah, you, and you guys shot that a bunch of times. And I was like, dude, you've made an entire career riding, awesome, a, riding bike. a bike. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. And then I just it ruined bikes for me. But now I I, uh, but I bought a bike. I mean, I have to. I I love riding my bike. So now I, that's all I, I just bike around the city now. Um, but yeah, what was what was the other question? The other question was, do you at any point rock a proton pack? Okay, okay, we can't say. Okay, all no right. comment. Okay, no comment. Other other care there is there are, there are proton packs in the movie. It would not be a Ghostbusters okay. movie without proton packs. Okay, that's all okay. I'll say. We'll yeah. take that. We'll take that. Yep. And you're working on some other stuff. I know you've been directing. You had a, a short. So yeah, I, that's cool. That's very cool. Yeah, I'm so excited uh for people to see it yeah i directed the short and i crowdfunded it and like uh if anyone in this chat uh ended up donating that's really amazing thank you um yeah it's kind of like we, we the short is done it's finished it's kind of in limbo because like we entered into a bunch of festivals um and a lot of the festivals either are getting pushed or canceled and the problem is is that some of them are like i guess festivals some of them are like world premieres so, like you have to premiere it there for the first time there um, so we're waiting to see what festivals are coming along. If TIFF is still going to happen, if mm -hmm. Telluride's going to happen, if all that stuff's going to, I mean, not to say that we're going to get in, but to know, yeah. to, you know, to, to find out. But yeah, I mean, I think the plan is if it doesn't get in any festivals, it's just, just release it on YouTube. I think that's the plan for right now. Um, but it may just take a few more months and then people will see it. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I, I'm really, really proud of it. And um, yeah, I made that in Vancouver, like in, I don't even remember, January, at the beginning of the year. No, wait, March? When, when did I make, when did we make the short? Uh, I can't remember. Every day is blended into one. <laughs> I don't, I honestly is don't that, remember. Is that Papa a few Wolfhard months ago. There? What? Is that Papa Wolfhard sitting over there? It is. Oh, what's up, man? How you the doing? man. Hey, good to see you. <laughs> the man. The man. Now, I know we've got himself. a lot of people watching and stuff. There's a lot of comments. I saw some people from Brazil and Portugal and Italy. Yeah. If you, if you have a question for Finn, we'll get to some fan questions. You can submit them at the bottom. Do it. I did have a question uh, submitted to me earlier uh, from Avery uh, talking about your directing. She said that uh, she's also an aspiring director, uh, just like you. And uh, she wants to know what made you want to direct, and also if if she, you know, if if your work on camera has really helped you pursue directing. Have you learned anything being an actor that really kind of helped be a director? Yeah, I mean, there's obviously so much to learn, and I feel like every director is still learning, even if they're like 70 years old. So, um, you know, I've only directed 
you know, really two things, one thing by myself fully. So, um, but yeah, uh, what made me want to direct was just films, like movies in general. The yeah. thought that you could take creative ideas and like put them onto a screen for everyone else to watch is like really yeah. an incredible feeling. Um, and also the other thing, I mean, the thing that really gets me is like being with people collaborating and making something cool to all together, like being with the crew, being with the cast, writing with other people, you know, like bouncing ideas off each other. That's the thing that like is addicting to me is like being able to just be with friends and uh, make something together, whether it's, you know, whatever. I mean, there's so many things, but yeah, movies to me, that's like, it screams that for me. So uh, yeah, like just watching movies growing up and then, uh, yeah, acting, I mean, has given me so, such a leg up in it because I, like, I, I've i learned from really amazing filmmakers firsthand. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, you know, not not to say that, like, you know, I, I, you know, the plan is for me not to go to film school because if you're an actor, you get to learn, you know, firsthand and you don't get to yeah. do that. But, I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're really interested I mean, there, there's a few ways to go about it. I mean, it's really like what it's really preference. Like, I, mean, I have some friends that have gone to film school and loved it. I have some friends that have become PAs and learned the same thing, learned through the set and learned everything kind of firsthand. Um, but if you know nothing about film and you're really interested in it, th there are two ways to go about it. Either you can go to film school and like learn about it that way, education, like, you know, with an education or you can try to get a job as an actor or as a someone doing set deck or like whatever yeah. um there's like a yeah there's a few ways to go about it it's more like it's yeah. it's more like you know because i just i got super a lot of it is luck like i believe that like talent is super big and everything and i you know but like i'm so lucky that i got stranger like stranger things was like a, such a fluke like i honestly have no idea how it happened and uh uh i'm very lucky to be in the position so it's definitely like for a lot of people can be like pretty discouraging but yeah, yeah. i feel like if you love it enough um i guess you can keep going with it but yeah i don't know there's so much for me to learn too so yeah. um yeah i don't know well, talking about growing up watching movies, do you, do you remember the first movie you ever saw, or maybe in theaters? Do you remember what that was? Um, well, we you have can like admit a it bunch... if it's a bad one. It's okay. We're in a safe oh yeah, space. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think. Well, I think the first movie my parents took me to when I that I don't even remember the the one that I don't remember going to, but being a baby was Spider Man in the theater. It was like literally, like I, I was like. Or Spider-Man Theater, it might have been on DVD, I'm not sure, but, like, that, I think that was the first, like, real movie, you know, other than, like, you know, Treehouse or whatever. Um, yeah. Um, but, uh, and then, yeah, I don't know, I, I remember the first, the first R-rated movie I ever saw was, uh, which is the most insane R-rated, I mean, a lot of it, and it wasn't on purpose, because I snuck in, it was my, my brother and my dad were watching Team America World Police. Amazing. Um, on DVD, like right at, after it came out in like 2005. So that was the first already movie I ever watched. That's where I learned my first line of Spanish. No, no me gusta. When they're going, when he's floating down the stream, he's like, no me gusta. No me gusta. Oh yeah. So oh yeah. We just watched that recently. That movie is so funny, man. Um, so good. yeah, that was the first. That was the first already movie I watched. Cool, man. Well, let's get to some fan questions too. We have one. Uh, let's see. Oh, where did they go? Uh, ooh, I know people are asking about this. I don't know if we can talk about it, but when will season four of Stranger Things be out? Like people are saying maybe October. Do we do we know when to expect it? I mean, we don't know. I mean, I don't know. I haven't. I genuinely don't know. Uh, probably sometime next year, I would think. Mm -hmm. But I like I don't. It. I mean, I could tell you it's. You know, if something if a miracle happens and Netflix is like release the first episode right as it's done um you know but i get the whole thing about netflix is that it all comes out at once so um yeah i'd probably say sometime next year okay um probably mid next year sometime I'm not, i honestly don't know genuinely um but i'd love for it to be out as soon as possible we all we i mean i you know i just talked to the duffers and we're all, all just like 
so excited to get back so that we can do it because we're all we're all so hyped for it and the duffers are so they're like they're really funny they're like in quarantine like like we've written so much like they're just like this is the first time we've ever gotten a script to netflix on on time (laughs) yeah so uh i mean it's gonna be amazing this season's gonna be amazing but yeah so i'm sure sometime soon it won't be too long uh, Karen wants to know, uh, what was uh, your favorite character that you played? You played some amazing characters, man. I don't know. How do you decide? That's tough. That is tough. Because there's, there's favorites and there's also, like, most fun. You know what I mean? Like, there's favorites. Like, Mike, obviously, is probably my favorite just because of, like, the sentimental value yeah. uh, of it. Like, it being my first thing. But, like, favorite... Uh, like most fun characters, like Richie is really fun because I'm just kind of playing an extension of like just playing me, but like a hundred times over, like super over the top and like just really like, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, not as just cracking more jokes and stuff. So yeah. Richie, um, I did a movie called The Goldfinch and I like had to do an accent. So that movie was like super rewarding to do because it was just like a completely new character that I had never done before. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's like, there's a lot. Of, I mean, the new, the character in, uh, what's called, uh, the new Ghostbusters is also, is also really fun for me to play as well. Um, cause I think that that's the character that's like, I mean, I think people will see it's the character that's most like me. Um, I'm kind of just playing another version of myself again. So, uh, well, yeah, all I don't know. these there's... years you haven't even been acting. You've just been playing yourself in scenarios. I love it. it. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Except Mike is like, I, I, Mike, I would not call myself similar to. He's very, okay. very okay. intense, um, but also really fun to play because I, I get to be. I mean, part of me though is is kind of like Mike a little bit, like the wanting to be <laughs> like the ringleader aspect and get everyone together and get everyone on the same page. So, but definitely, yeah. Uh, I'm probably more like Richie than Mike. <laughs> uh, someone wanting to know, uh, it's a couple of questions uh, on other non-acting stuff. Someone wanting to know what kind of guitar you have. Another question here, if you still skateboard, is do you, what do you, what are you doing in the free time? There's, yeah, I just, I was skateboarding yesterday, um, with, with a helmet and wrist guards because I don't want to die. Um, <laughs> and so that I don't get sued by Netflix if I fall. Um, <laughs> And lose my job. No, um, yeah, I don't know. I've been, yeah, I've been skateboarding a lot in quarantine, and then, yeah, I still, I have a uh, the guitar I've been playing the most is like this cool '60s nice. uh, Gibson acoustic guitar, um, that uh, that I really like. But yeah, I have I have a, a few guitars. But yeah, it's one of them. Now here's a great question. I was actually, I think I was on set one of these days. But when you were in it. Were you freaked out by uh, Skarsgård in costume? I remember the, the day I was there, he had snuck around and he had came through the back of the video village tent and scared the yeah. entire crew. It was amazing. But yeah, I yeah. Imagine on set, you probably, it probably really at that At that time. point when you were on set, when we were doing, when we were, I remember it was like, you were interviewing me and Jaden, I think, right? Well, yeah, sorry. correct, uh, yeah. Hold on, I'm back. Um, yeah, you were interviewing me and Jaden. I, at that point in the movie, I don't think we had met him yet, or not met him, but like seen him in all the makeup. I'm not. I don't remember the timeline. Do you remember if we had seen him? I think so. I know the day before I got there, they officially released the image of him because that was the first time he was. Going to be. Out. Public. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this was. I, we hadn't, we hadn't done a scene with him. Like we knew what he looked like from the picture, but we hadn't seen him in real life. Um, And I think after you left, we saw him the next week and it is pretty well documented. If you go on YouTube, you can search up it like behind the scenes, like Pennywise or something like that. And it's us talking about Pennywise and not seeing him there's like a you know there's like thing of me and like all the kids talking about what we think he's gonna look like and then the first scene that we shoot is the one where he's like drooling in jack's face um and then they yelled cut and i take off my glasses and i go oh my god um and i was truly scared by him uh 
but that yeah so if you go on 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 youtube you can find like my true reaction of like getting actually scared by him amazing um and he tried not to uh there's a really funny clip of Jaden and i talking to the camera afterwards and like something knocks over and i'm like everything's scaring me right now <laughs> um it was an intense set yeah but also super fun um yeah, it's probably the best summer of my life. Um, but yeah, yeah, definitely was scared by him for 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 a second. But now, now when we see each other, we're just we're bros. <laughs> now, I know we have something else planned to end this with, but do we have time for a couple more questions, or are we? Yeah, we to... yeah, let's do let's do like two more and then do the end. Cool, thing. cool, cool. Let's. Okay, where did these go? Uh, okay. Now, do you have? I, I saw a few of these similar questions. Favorite scenes from Stranger Things, but I like this one too. Uh, what, what's your favorite memory so far from Stranger Things? Do when you look back, anything that really stands out? E yeah. Um, I mean, there's so many things because we've been shooting it for a long time. So I guess that the one that sticks out to me the most is like the first scene we ever filmed. It was the first scene in Stranger Things, which is the Dungeon and Dragon scene. Yeah. Um, and that was the very first scene we shot. And I think it was very deliberate that that was on purpose to, to get us, you know, together and, um, uh, you know, used to each other and stuff and how we worked with each other. And, uh, yeah, we just were in that basement all day. And uh, we were just, we would, I don't know why, but we were just, we would laugh so, we would just laugh so hard because we were so, like, excited. And the Duffers were just, like, be like, what are you guys laughing about? And we couldn't answer them. Like, we had no idea why we were laughing, but like, we knew that it was so like so fun. Um, but yeah, that one really really stands out to me. Like meeting everyone for the first time really stands out to me. Like I remember meeting uh, every, probably every person on the set for the first time. Um, meeting Gaten for the first time in the audition process, and him just coming coming into the room and going. I have no collarbones. Check this out, and then just doing it, doing the thing. Oh wow! Um, and the Duffers were like, "Whoa, holy shit!" And they're like, "That's crazy. What is that?" And he he said the exact same thing in the show. He says his condition, clinocardia dysplasia. Um, mm-hmm. and so they just wrote that in. They cast him and then wrote it That's in. That's so cool. Um, so I remember that very very clearly. I remember Caleb coming into the room and talking about how he'd been on Lion King and stuff and. Nice. Um, yeah, very like I I would say the most vivid ones are like very early on because the other other memories just feel like very recent. Mm-hmm. Um, and here, like, let's go. Last, season... last... Yeah, yeah. All right, la- last question here. Right, we'll get move on. Uh, I like this one. Speaking of, you know, we're all self isolating. We're all away from people. But have you kept in contact with any of uh, your cast members yeah. from either any you know any of your projects during the self isolation? Yeah, I try to keep in contact with everyone. Um, I should actually text some people after this. But yeah, no, I uh, I uh, was talking to Gaten last week. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I've been talking to Joe, Kiri. I've been talking to everyone. Um, I've been nice. trying to keep in contact with everyone. And um, all the it kids have been talking you know, we we haven't really stopped talking to each other since we met each other. So you guys have like a group chat. How does that work? Yeah, we have like uh, yeah, we have a group chat. Um, and then uh, like all the all the it kids have a huge group chat that we just kind of spam each other in. Um, <laughs> that we probably I don't think we've stopped using since t- 2016. So amazing. Um, yeah. Well, before we wrap up, I've been doing this with everyone I've had on because we're all at home. We're all surrounded by all of our stuff. So I wanted to play a little game of at home. Uh, self isolation show and tell. Now, do you oh, have an sweet. item you could you could show the class and maybe yeah tell yeah. The let story? me let me try to find something cool. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah, that one's cool. I got <laughs> that one is very cool actually. Um. Okay. Okay. Here, here's here's some cool stuff. Okay. I uh okay. Here is um I did a movie called The Turning, uh-huh. and the director Floria gave this to me. It's the spider that we used in the movie. Not it's not a real spider, but uh, it's the spider that we used, and she got it in a glass case for me, which is like very amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really really crazy. Uh, so I got that, and then here's like a. 
I, I have a little I have a little goldfinch reprint painting. Uh, oh nice. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Um so I have those two. I have like I don't know, I've also just been like I don't know. Here's my guitar. Here's the guitar I was talking about. Hold on. Oh, very nice. Yeah, very nice and golden. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's my cat. Aw. Yeah, that's the... So, yeah. And then that I guess that, that would be my, my show and tell. What else? Is there anything Thanks. else? Show have my you, dad. Have you taken anything? How about, like, from Stranger Things or Eddie? Any souvenirs over the years that you've... you've yeah, you've let me... Out? There's, there's, yeah, there's one... Oh, where's the... Where's the painting? Where's the uh, the season one painting? I have this really ah! painting. There's paintings stacked up here. Where's the you know the season one painting? Remember that one? Or maybe it's back here. This yeah, is one we need to find. You see it? Yeah. <sighs> this one is really cool, actually. Every every year we get a uh, we we get a a kind of gift at the end of the year for Stranger Things. So like season two. They got this cool print of me and uh, Joe Gaten. Curie and Gaten um, in the tunnel. Yeah, and this is so. This is a real painting that someone did. Um, this is for season one. Wow. Um, and we, what's it called? We I got that season one, and I've had it since. And that's uh, it was hanging on my wall, but we took it down, and we're gonna try to find another great place for it. That one is super awesome. Everyone wow. got everyone got one that's different. So like Natalia and Joe and Charlie have. Um, the same style, but it's them in the hallway looking at the burning Demogorgon. Okay. Um, so everyone has their own one. Winona has one that's like her with the lights, with her holding the the oh, axe. Wow. Yeah, it was super. That is a very valuable, super cool thing that I I loved Amazing. for for years. Um, well, you've uh, you crushed the at home show and tell, man. I think that was the best one we've seen yet. So yes, amazing. Woo. Well, Sweet, Sweetie, man. thank you so much, man, for your time. I really course. appreciate it. I know anything you want to say before we wrap up? You got a bunch of stuff people can check out. You have a clothing line too, I saw. Are you? Are you yeah, I'm, I'm in the middle of that. Yeah, everyone okay. uh, should should look out for. Um, oh, the dog! Oh, the baby. oh, Ari! That's that's the that's the show and tell. Yeah, there's a uh, yeah clothing line that I'm starting um, with my friend Cole Sparrow. That's that should be coming soon. Mm -hmm. um, called Holy Names. So look out for that. And then I have a band called the Aubreys. So uh, we'll be doing music with that. And then, yeah, look out for the short film and stay six feet apart. Stay, yeah, stay six feet apart and yeah, cool, man. Yeah, man. Well, I'll see, you, uh, I'll see you in Toronto next time I'm there. Let's, let's get some lunch or something. Let's do it, man. Well, thanks a lot. Happy uh, self-isolation. Yeah, Hi you too, man. For me. Okay, and, I will. Uh, yeah, go, go wash your hands now, I guess. All right, right, yeah, yeah, you too, man. All right, pal. Take care. Later. Thanks so much. See you Bye. later.